I'm gonna give you a mimosa and some <laughs> fresh fruit. Cheers. 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 Hello and welcome to Dinner Views. I'm Matthew Francis and this is the show where I get to cook a dream dinner for my fascinating friends here in Hollywood and I also get to interview them about their life, their career, and their points of view on the world. Today my guest is someone that I've gotten to hang out with a few times here in town but I can't wait to actually have a full-on, intense, deep, personal conversation with her today and she is a host, a producer, an activist, a brand ambassador, model, and fashion icon, what can't she do? We used to work at Sephora and she kind of became famous for working at BuzzFeed as a producer for As Is, their beauty and lifestyle channel. And now she's off spreading her wings doing all of her own projects and she took time out of her busy schedule to be with me and I'm very excited about it. Please welcome Jasmine Jay. Hi! Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Of course, of course. Um, so basically, one thing that I'm really excited about is that, you know, she's so busy, but we kind of like rescheduled some things yes, around. Yes, I appreciate you. And I appreciate you for being here. Yeah. And um, so I gave a little bit of an update on like kind of your like kind of BuzzFeed career life, mm -hmm. but I would love for people to know a little bit more about you. So do you have like a little like a bridge life story of your personal life and how you got here? Um, Okay, I'll do some bullet points. Amazing. Um, grew up in a small town in Illinois. Okay. Um, very, it was like less than 9,000 people. Um, not a lot of diversity whatsoever. Mm. Moved out to LA to go to fashion school. Um, studied that for, it was like a year um, program for a certificate. Yeah. Did that. Worked at Sephora, decided to go to Buzz. Well, decided to try to go to Buzzfeed. Ah. Somehow got in with zero skills. Um, I didn't know how to edit, film, set up lights, anything. Yeah. Um, got in there with the fashion teams. It was called Top Knot at the time, yeah, 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 yeah. which I had no hair. So yeah. <laughs> I, I somehow got in it there. It was somebody's Top Knot. Right? <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> um, and then after that, just kind of grew just kind of grew on to making um, like body positive self empowerment yeah. um, pieces and videos and really like creating a brand voice. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. And also what's, um, been, Ooh. yes, so basically, uh, I've seen this. You have seen this. Seen See, this. you guys, she's doing her homework, uh -huh. that, which means she's probably gonna do really well. <laughs> so this is a game called Fast Food Favorites. Yes. Um, if for you, if you're watching, or if maybe you want a refresher on the rules, basically you grab out of the pot here, and there'll be different um, like categories of food. So this is fish, and you give me your favorite flavor of fish. So let's say salmon. Okay. And you're gonna list them all off as many as you can and the goal is to beat other people who've competed before oh shit yes i'm and so bad at competitions yeah. like i am competitive mm -hmm. but i'm either like super into it or like okay i'm gonna lose yeah so i'm gonna try to be into this amazing because i also love competing I know. and it's just a part of my show right what's your <laughs> sign my i'm aries okay oh yeah. beautiful okay. what, what, what's your sign i'm a libra okay i love, love it. it um okay so ah. here we go. I believe in you. I'm hoping, okay, my personal goal, I'm hoping to get more than 10. That'll, okay, that's doable, trust me. You is can it? do it. Yeah, people okay. usually get over 10. Okay. Um, and then what's great is like, even if you don't get a huge number, we still get to learn about you yeah. and your food preferences, which is like, I think says a lot about people. Love it. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh shit, okay. Can I grab more than one at that's a time? That's fine, yeah. Okay, junk food, popcorn. Um, common salad, like a uh, Greek salad or yeah. chef salad. Yeah, both or, work. Uh, candy, cotton, candy, <laughs> fruit, grapes, mm. fish, uh, fried catfish. Ooh. Um, herb. Is garlic? I'm sorry. Is garlic an herb? No, What's but herb? think, think like, like the like the um like the little plants like like rosemary, thyme, all those types. Of I am not seasoned. Okay. Ah! Um. Well, we'll say garlic as like a good seasoning. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Good seasoning. Um, dessert, uh, uh, brownies, mm. um, smoothie, anything green, nice. um, salad topping, blue cheese or apples, or, or is that talking about dressing? Okay. That works. that works. Ice cream, um, fish food from Ben and Jerry's, oh. seafood, um, fried catfish, legume. Oh. oh. That's it, anyway. But legumes are like, so like beans, beans lentils, yeah. gotcha. We'll count it, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11. Perfect. And you have to, we'll count that one. Um, we'll give you an extra one. What kind of beans do I like? Kind of like black beans? Yeah. Yeah. A good classic. Yeah. I 12. Like this. I like this. Right? It's yeah. fun. I think like. I never think this fast. It, well that and then also like so you say things and like certain things like she um so my friend Cohen's here and she smiled and like um <laughs> laughed when you said like the uh, ice cream of the fish food but you said fish food and I was like what uh, so like, explain that ice cream to me oh my gosh it's like um chocolate with vanilla and I think marshmallow are you familiar mm -hmm. yeah. it has like marshmallow like swirls okay. in it um I've been eating it since like college yeah. I swear um but and it has like little fishies okay um like chocolate fish in it Ooh. that I think are filled with caramel yes. yeah that's it's so a lot good. of things it's in so one flavor. good wow. we need to get you that I would love to try that yes but since you did such a great job and we got to a little bit more about, more about fish food ice cream, yes, um, we have our appetizers, okay? Ooh. So basically this next segment is called What App? Mm -hmm. So while I'm, I'm uh, you know, giving you food and we eat the appetizer, mm -hmm. we answer questions from social media apps. Oh, beautiful. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna give you a mimosa and <laughs> some fresh fruit. Okay, so here we have some orange juice. Some orange juice, love it. Oh, that's a good pour too. Yeah, because yeah. I was, I we was. know we want it heavy on the champagne. More booze <laughs> all the time. And then Cullen, get in here so I can pour you some mimosa too. Has anybody ever had you do breakfast? Um, you are the first person. Really? Yay. Yeah. And then also right here we have some fresh fruit. fruit. Just because I was like, we're gonna have a lot of heavy stuff, so might we as well. We need something. That's what it's hard about breakfast. Is yes. That everything is really like super carby yeah. and super like meats and everything's really heavy but do we really want it any other way right no. yeah exactly um Should okay we that's we have to do a cheers. cheers come in here cullen cheers cheers, cheers. cheers. yay uh-huh <laughs> oh this is yummy yeah this is really yummy okay so i'll pull up some questions and yeah. we can just like munch, yeah, munch on whatever you want I fruit will. wise so i'm first, worried about these questions <laughs> <laughs> Some are pretty great. Um, okay, so let's start off strong. And basically, this is just going to be, I'm going to sh share all the compliments that were kind of whipped at me throughout all of oh, these geez. questions. So I think they, um, there was so many, and I'm trying to kind of put them into one, but the best one is basically from Kelsey Dara, and they, she kind of summarizes them all, saying, Jasmine, why are you so hot? <laughs> so it's not really a question, but just... A compliment. Everyone I, you loves know you. know what? Kelsey is a beautiful human. Yeah. And honestly, so hot as well. So yes. I'm just glad to be near her. Um, okay. So these are from more of the fans and their actual questions. So what is one self-care act that everyone should practice? Hmm. I think, um, I don't know. It. I feel like self-care depends on a lot of like really particular to you. Exactly. Um, for me right now, it's going to therapy mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, really taking time to like assess myself before I speak, before I try mm -hmm. to tell someone how I feel or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just really like really trying to feel because I have a problem with sometimes um, being too like instant with things like immediate reaction yes, yeah. when I need to like take a moment mm -hmm. and then even if it's like a minute yeah. and then talk about it yeah. so I think it's just like allowing yourself um, time and space whether it's 30 seconds or multiple days or hours or something like you deserve that yeah. and I'm trying to be better with that yeah because I think like I'm I relate to that because I'm someone that I, you can even tell I talk very fast I always have like a million things in my right? brain so I don't take that time to mm -hmm. do it and sometimes it gets me into trouble or yeah. I have flubs embarrass myself so I feel that just take a little bit of time yeah yeah I'm really working on that with my therapist thank goodness so ooh. This person asks, uh, how old were you when you first came out mm. to your parents? And um, when did you like find your first girlfriend? All righty. <laughs> Story time. Okay, so I started dating um, my first girlfriend when I was 16. Okay. Around 16 to 17, something like that. And it was that, you know, I don't know if it's typical for like gay dudes, mm. but like it's your best friend and then you fall in love and la 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 yeah. la. Is that typical? I think it's more for women. Yeah. Because like, I think 
I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but at least for me, a lot of gay guys are like kind of too scared to even admit that. Oh, okay. So like, I feel like a lot of gay guys are first boyfriend they kind of find online. Oh, okay. That's a big okay. thing for, for gay guys. Really? Yeah. Okay, even interesting. Like, like, even before now apps, like people used to be like, oh, I found my first boyfriend on like AOL Messenger. Really? Or, like, or MySpace at the time. So all interesting. those things. Interesting. Yeah. Um, especially if you're in a small town or whatever. For sure. But um, but yeah, yeah I, but a lot of girls definitely have like their best friends. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a thing. Yeah. So it was like my best friend and my parents, um, uh, they kind of like found out before I told them, <laughs> which like I was like, talking to my girlfriend at the time, I was like, you know, I think we should do this. Yeah. I think we should just tell them, la yeah. la la. And she was a little bit hesitant. So I was like, okay, like yeah. I, I like you. I thought I loved her. I'm not sure if Aww. I did, but you know, um, I thought so at the time. And there was one day where my mom walked into my room and the door was open and me and her were just like very close, like holding hands. Very, very casual, uh -huh. very innocent. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nothing was like, she didn't bust me doing anything. Yeah. 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 Um, and my mom was like, like flipped out oh, no. and so then she had to leave and of course this was like super bowl sunday oh of course so me i'm in the living room like crying mm. my mom my dad and my brother are all there because with my family it's like if something's going on we're talking about it as a whole family unit oh okay yeah okay. we're sharing it with everybody mm. this is what we're talking about and um i'm sitting on my couch telling my parents how this is my girlfriend. Yeah. She's been my girlfriend. And while I'm doing that, Katy Perry's performing on the Super Bowl. I kissed a girl and I liked it. And I'm just sitting there like, I, I'm also like a nervous laughter. Uh -oh. So <laughs> I'm like yeah. kind of laughing slash why is Katy Perry singing about kissing a girl while I'm telling my parents that I'm a whole lesbian. Yeah, yeah. So that was, um, my, I guess, coming out to my parents. Mm. Um, it was a lot of mm. processing with them. And it took, honestly, a few years, even with myself too, because yeah. um, I still went in between after that, like dating some men and then like realizing I never want that again. Mm. And you know. Even I'm sometimes like, why do I like guys? Right, Let's I'm like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I went back and forth, um, but yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. what age were you when you told them? Um, I told them, so that had to be when I was 18. Okay. Like nice. early, like very early into my 18s. Okay. Yeah. Great. That's like, I think that's kind of becoming like the norm age is like kind of like about before you go to college. It's yeah. Like normal now. Yeah. Which Great. like go off. Yes. What is the weirdest thing that you've ever done in your life that you would never forget? Like a, maybe like a crazy story or something. Hmm. I don't know. The weirdest thing mm -hmm. that I will never forget, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to not be X-rated. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I have such a um, threshold for what is weird because gotcha. I'm just very fucking open yeah. about everything. Okay. Um. Oh, this is hard. Well, oh. this isn't that weird, but it was weird. Yeah. Um. So I was out in San Diego a few weekends ago mm -hmm. and some girl came up to me. I think she was a little drunk. Uh. Um, it was also, <laughs> this was weird and offensive. Uh, she came up to me and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan of yours. Yeah. You've changed my life. When you get up on that stage and play the flute, it is amazing. And I was like... I'm not Lizzo. Yeah, she's not Lizzo, guys. <laughs> I am not Lizzo. <laughs> and it was really funny because I've I've been mistaken for Lizzo before. Okay. Which is like, okay, I'm plus size yeah. and I'm half black. I, like, I am a black woman, but like Lizzo is very much like full yeah, yeah. black woman. Yeah, like, yeah. she's darker than me. Yeah. So I don't understand. I have no hair. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Yeah. But, um... It was it was an awkward moment for yeah. me just to be like, yeah, I'm not I'm not kind of skedaddle on drunk girl. I'm not Lizzo. Yeah, <laughs> but she changed my life too. Yeah, so. she's Minnesotan or like she like like lived in Minnesota mm -hmm. and like that's my home state. Oh yeah. And so like I remember I went to like a certain like concert back when I was visiting and this was like maybe four years ago before she was big mm -hmm. and I was and that she had just kind of started writing. Um, uh, I do my hair toss up. Yeah, that, good like, as hell. Good as hell. And I was like. 
how is this yes. not like a viral star oh already? Oh my gosh. And so then now she's blown up. And I'm like, wow. I know. She deserves it. Yeah. She deserves so much. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful to see. It's also just like not what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So. You, are not, you are not her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is from Curly. Oh. The, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah the Curly V show. You say what you're gonna say, I know what you're gonna say. He texted me to make sure it was okay to send this. Yeah, because when he sent that in to me on Instagram, I messaged him like, Curly, I love you, this is hilarious. And he goes, don't worry, I texted her for her consent. <laughs> um, but Curly asked Jasmine, um, ask her if Curly and her were a couple, who would be the top? <laughs> All right. Has Curly been on here? Yeah, he's been season one. Um, he had lamb lasagna. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Curly, me and Curly are soulmates. Yes. You know, I see it. Um, it, he's a beautiful person. He helped, like, bring me up in this, like, social media world and has taught me, like, how to take my pictures, how to do this, how to do that, how to caption things, how to handle situations. He's been amazing. Um, Curly. Here's the thing. <laughs> I am a hard bottom. Oh, really? Hard. It's hard okay. bottom. I think, I don't know what Curly is. We kind of talked a little bit off cam a bit, <laughs> and I think he, he definitely likes both. I so know, okay. I, so then I think. That doesn't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, so I guess maybe he'd be the top then? Yeah, yeah. he would have to be yeah. because I. Yeah, if you refuse. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to refuse, but it's not preferred. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Curly, you know your answer. <laughs> and we love this, all the consensual fun we're having too. Yes, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so um, who is your first real crush? And um, she said, you don't have to like, say the name, but uh -huh. like, describe your first crush. Hmm. I feel like my first real crush was like the pink Power Ranger. <gasps> I Honestly, see it. which which of like would do you remember which like was a Mighty Morphin you know, was it Dino Thunder like or whatever? A little blonde girl, okay. Kimberly. Uh, that, that, that sounds like name. that'd be a correct app name for a pink <laughs> Power Ranger who's blonde. Yeah, I see it. I don't know. I think that was my first though, where I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah, I think one of my first ones was like a yellow Power Ranger. That makes sense. Yeah, well, like, yeah. they're in spandex. They got nice butts. <gasps> And they're fighting, kicking ass, yes! saving the planet. And then they're just like hot teens. Yeah. Like during the day at school. Yeah. I still have crushes on them. Yeah. Um, okay. What's one of your biggest fears? We're already getting kind of deep. I live in fear, oh, okay. to be honest. Um, I'm scared of a lot of things. Um, something that I don't talk about often, um, I'm very terrified to fly. Oh, like flying air commercially? Mm -hmm. Wow. I fly like... Every ah! guys, there's an airplane. Literally. <laughs> wow, that's a that is weird so funny. Yeah. Um, I fly like every two three months. Okay. Yeah. And it is just yeah bad. Yeah. I don't I I'm, I don't really mind like the actual flying itself, but I hate like the whole experience of like having like lug things and being uncomfortable and like so I'm like really tall too. Yeah. Uh, you probably yeah, you're yes. like so like I'm like my neck is like. Weirdly over, over it, and mm -hmm. like I, I stand up, and I bump things, and then yeah. yeah. So I don't like the experience of flying, but being scared of it also would be horrible. Oh my gosh, imagine. I'm so anxious when I fly. Do you have to like t like have booze or have like something with you to like calm you down? Um, I wish something oh. worked, oh. but oh. it never works. Not yet. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'm still holding out for when they um, invent teleportation. Like, I really want that to happen. Please. Just like, can you imagine just being like, and I want to go to Italy. Like, oh. that'd be. I was literally just saying I wanted to go to Greece tonight. Ooh. <laughs> for it for a night. <laughs> well, just for one night. Well, that'd yeah. be expensive. I know. That's right why out. I said I can't. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay, so I'll do one final one, and let's say. So basically, a lot of people were like, you know, oh, like, why are you so confident? confident. Like, people always, I'm sure they always ask you that. Yes. And we'll get more into that later with like a, the deeper dinner view part. Ooh. But basically. Like how, instead of like that conversation, why don't you just say like, how do you deal with haters? People that like, mm. who are kind of trying to take away your confidence. Yeah. Um, I think dealing with haters, it first of all sucks. Yeah, it's like, why do we have to do yeah, that? Yeah, it yeah. really sucks. Um, I, I don't think that should be a thing regardless, but I don't know, I've just kind of gotten to a place where I have realize that they are probably going through something more like bigger than I am. Yeah. And um, they need to lash out however they need to lash out. And if that's to somebody that they literally do not know, How then so? okay. Um, 
another way like that's where i get to myself mentally is yeah. like they're just hurting like hurt people hurt people that's it um but how i deal with them physically is i block and delete anything that makes me feel bad yeah and i there are some people out there that have like whether you have a following or not they'll be like no you shouldn't do that you're taking away people's voices you're doing this you're doing that and i'm like you're on my instagram page yeah. though yeah. and if you were in my life yeah. i would ignore you and not yeah. hang out with you yeah. so just like that i'm going to block you and have you not comment on my stuff anymore yeah, makes sense. because that's that's my mental health at the end of the day and i don't need to see people discussing and it's always usually about my body since i'm super into like body positivity and everything like that yeah. so i really don't need to be seeing people discussing my body on my instagram agreed like i think the only time it ever makes sense that you really shouldn't block someone is if you're like a public official and it's like part of your job right but, like, right this is your space yeah like, like keep I'm, it positive kick the exactly yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. so yeah good okay so just ignore them yeah stay positive ignore them block them delete them whatever you gotta do okay so now we're finally gonna have like the actual meaty, carby, full on dinner part of the breakfast for dinner. Ah! So Jazz loves breakfast, you guys. Yes. Um, and so I'm gonna go get the food for her now. It's all you're gonna know right now is breakfast. I wanna surprise you with the actual food in front of you. Oh, I'm so excited. But while I'm um, dishing the food for you, this oh. segment is called Dream Dish. So while I'm like dishing you food, you'll be uh, dishing for us mm -hmm. either a secret that you haven't told anyone before. Anyone? Yes, or dish on like a subject that the world should know more about. Oh, okay. So like, like a hidden gem of mm. a show, a, a, a movement, mm. anything like that. You know, um, every year before I went to college, yeah. I had a family dinner that was all breakfast. just breakfast. And I made shirts. People or had everybody to, with their family or? It was all my family and some friends and people had to wear their shirt and on it was their favorite breakfast item. What was on your shirt? Um, like a McDonald's number three. Nice. Da -da 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 yes. Da -da -da. This looks beautiful. Um, yes. Fancy. Okay. Wow. You happy? Yeah. Who would it be? So basically right here in front of us and you can watch it in the recipe video that will be on YouTube or you can see the photos on Instagram. But basically we have some homemade biscuits and gravy, sausage gravy, um, and then, so these are um, basically like like hash brown patties yes. that were kind of fried and then baked. Oh. And then we have uh, just a nice fried egg. Wow, um, I'm so excited. So while we, so we kind of have the food has been dished for you. Yes. Before we kind of eat it, do you have like a secret to share to dish for us or anything like that? Okay, so I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I've been really focusing on lately other than my mental health is this, <laughs> This might be so random, yeah. but I've been watching this show called Euphoria. I've heard it's really good. It's like a, like a crazy long music video. It is so good, honestly. And I've talked about it on my Instagram. Okay. Watch it. Okay, what's what's like the main selling point that's amazing about it? Um, it This goes like kind of without saying to me, but like you have to say it is that the diversity okay. is honestly fucking refreshing. Good. Just good to see in a new show about teens. Yes, it's a little bit exaggerated. Not what I think teens are 100% doing now, mm. but it's also TV. Yeah, yeah. So you have to take that with like a grain of salt. Like it's with TV, it's not reality It TV. has to be interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Um, hmm. But... Oh. Ryan was like ranting about it too. Yo, yeah. me and Ryan talk about it literally weekly. Okay, great. Yes, okay. yes. I'm not even kidding you. You have to. Watch he it. was like, he was like, I watch, and then there's like a like a, a camera movement when it's like going like this yep. or something, and I was like, it's, okay, it is beautifully shot. Okay. Lighting is beautiful. Um, all the people in it are fucking gorgeous. Okay. Well, like, Zendaya, I mean, oh uh, yo, she, she's the main the main star, right? Yes, okay, great. yes. Okay. Um, yeah, the, it, it's just really good. It's interesting. Okay, okay. it's yeah. on my list. I will do Please. it. I promise. Please. I owe you. Yes. Okay, so now let's try some of the food. Woo! Go into whatever you want to first. Tell me what you think. Do you like breakfast? I do like breakfast. Yeah. Growing up, I actually didn't like it. Um, what? Because like I was very much like a leftovers person, so I'd have like dinner from leftovers like for oh, breakfast. Okay. But then after my sophomore year of culinary school, I worked in a, a bed and breakfast in Provincetown, mm -hmm. like the gay resort town. Wow. Um, and uh, up, yeah, in Massachusetts, Provincetown, and we had did like a fancy breakfast feast every day, so I kind of got used to it. And yeah. then I, I got to learn like a lot of new things I hadn't made before, and I was just like, okay. I'm liking breakfast. Yeah. And now I, I now I'm I'm hooked. 
breakfast is my favorite i've always said like if i do get married mm -hmm. um it will be at my it will be served at my wedding oh yeah i don't care what it won't be a brunch wedding either like okay. we will be at night eating breakfast I'm sensing a very common theme in yep. your life when it comes to food. It's just breakfast all the breakfast, time. Breakfast, honestly. Mm. And I just love it because it's so like, there are so many sweet, savory, like you can please almost anybody with breakfast and so many exactly. people skip it. Yeah. And it's like, why? Mmm, this is really good too. The hash brown? Yeah. Perfect, and if you want some ketchup, we can scoop some on there. Yes. Oh wow, this is so good. Yeah. Um, so you've really kind of exploded in the last few years since working at BuzzFeed. And like people love you because of your confidence, right? And because of, you're just like unapologetically yourself and you kind of advocate for other people, which is so wonderful. Yeah. What, what do you find is like the number one thing when people re reach out to you for support or mm -hmm. for like, um, just to kind of tell you thank you, what do they usually kind of say? Um, usually when people reach out to me, the first thing they say is that, like, I've just helped them find their confidence, mm. which is, like, amazing to hear. Yeah. Always so great. Um, I get a lot of people that say, um, specifically, like, I wore this outfit because of you, or I was inspired by you, or I thought about you and then, like, tried something new yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I get a lot of people who tell me, like, I came out because of you, which is really, really cool to hear as well. Um, I've worn bikinis because of you for the first time, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's like um, something that I really, really like. Nothing compares to it, yeah. just hearing that. And just just like being kind of la like um, carrier, that carrier of confidence to other people, you know? Um, and being able to, I don't have to meet you, yeah. but I can still give my like, I can still give my confidence and still like give my word to try to motivate people and yeah. encourage people. And when like, cause also like I've also been in public with you sometimes and people swarm yeah. you, like people, people <laughs> love you. Like, did that really kind of get too much for you or how do you, what do you feel about that? Yeah, I wouldn't, I, it probably affects me a little bit differently just cause I'm like a very anxious person. Mm. And so I'm um, being in big crowds and stuff or like, people noticing me is or it makes me think like people Cameras. are like watching yeah, me yeah, all the time yeah, yeah, yeah. which isn't comfortable but um i know like immediately after that like it's someone being nice to me yeah. and someone that feels like inspired by me or excited to say hi to mm. me so i i love it um the only problems that i do have are when people like come up and touch me yeah without asking without asking yeah. they'll be like hey aren't you that um, hey aren't you and i'm like I, I literally turn and i'm like what yeah. like don't no, i'm not her don't touch me yeah. like it gets weird um but then afterwards people usually apologize and i'm like cool just like don't touch me i don't know who you are yeah um but then afterwards we can like introduce ourselves and hugs that's totally fine um but yeah i i'm really appreciative of anybody that like just comes up and says hi anyway yeah, yeah. you know it's yeah. cool um like also well i'm gonna take a bite yes <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing is like sometimes i always feel bad because like we're, i want to get into a good conversation but i'm like please don't let your food get cold i want to get into this good food <laughs> um because we were at Pride recently, and mm -hmm. there was um, we had, it was like the BuzzFeed float, and we were all dancing and stuff, yep. and people came by, and it was like, really nice, because I think at least when you have an event like that, you know they're gonna come up, so are you, are you more mentally prepared for it? Yeah, I think um, Prides, um, any like type of beauty con yeah. like, type of event, yeah. um, I just went to a little like small town Pride, mm. like San, Lu San Luis Obispo, it's like three hours away from here. That's a very interesting name. Yeah, it was a super, super small town and mm -hmm. I probably sat and met with over a hundred people for like an hour. Yeah. Wow. Not what I expected, but yeah. I was like, I did expect it, but like I didn't at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, uh, the more like being in airports or um oh ooh, forever 21. Oh. <laughs> yeah I, I think i would not be able to handle it yeah like, especially like if you're like if you have like a down day or you're like because you know you're always styling but what if like you know you're having like a regular day i know not styling i know and they're like jasmine you're like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah or like um uber drivers or i went oh, into shit. like the emergency room and my nurses knew who i was like stuff like ooh. that where it was like 
oh, this is not what I planned for, but cool. It kind of, um, it's honestly like, yes, I'm obviously drinking here, but I really don't drink in public because mm. um, I'm like big control issues gotcha. and I don't want to be in public and like do something stupid while I'm drunk or mm. something like that. Because they're going to whip those phones out. Yo, and I'm not trying, yeah, no, mm. I'm not trying to like make a fool of myself. So That's I'd smart. like to stay in control. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and then also, like when it comes to like all these people, like maybe they n watch so much of you, but mm -hmm. you see none of them, right? So they feel like they know you. Yes. And obviously you're like, ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, what would you say is like the biggest misconception about either mm. you or like or your work? Because I'm, I'm sometimes maybe they assume you only do like one thing. Yeah. You know what is really kind of fucked up? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, tell people me. People have been saying. Like, I don't know if I'm just picking up on it now or if people are just really saying this right now. I've had a lot of people come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, you're so much prettier in person. <laughs> and I'm like... Do you think I'm ugly in videos? Uh, thanks? Oh. I don't know. Oh um, that kind of fucks me up for a minute. But other than that, um, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like people, I, I'm very fortunate to, the videos that I'm in, I am never acting like anybody else but yeah. myself. Right, right. And that's because I'm a shitty actress and I know that. So I'm not, and to think about like, oh, I act this way in my videos. So when I meet you, I have to act this way. Like, no, I'd rather if I'm being booked for brands, if I'm meeting people, if I'm doing anything, it's all gonna be for me. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. have to put on a show. Exactly. It, it's the easiest to do. That was a good choice in the beginning. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh, can you imagine like, having to like, hold up a facade yeah. when, when it's your own, like, if, you're, if your personality is a character? Yeah, oh my and God. so many people do that. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm Maybe like, I'm too new to LA. But... <laughs> not, I can't, I can't do that. Got so, um, yeah, I feel like people pretty much do understand me. Okay. Um, pretty pretty easily just because that's what I put out there. Yeah. Um, the only thing I would say is people probably assume like I'm this big ball of confidence all the time and like, no, mental health's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, let's go into that because, so as, um, as probably you are, like mm -hmm. I um, am really attracted when it comes to friendship and like mm -hmm. um, just like emotional connection with people that really kind of know who they are and like love who they are even if it doesn't always show yeah. right and that would sometimes be construed as confident so i had people yeah. on the show and they've yes. always talked about it and all of them would be perceived as confident but almost all of them say you know what that's because you're seeing five minutes of my day you're seeing yeah. only a certain part of my day and a lot of them are also like this confidence that you're putting upon me mm -hmm. is becoming like even harder for me to like handle because it's like almost damaging because they're like if they don't feel confident they're like am I not as oh, good as you think I am that's shitty and like yeah so like um like Joyce would always say that she would feel like sometimes if she's having a bad day it's like she's like lying to people mm -hmm. and it was like, hard for her to deal with that so um what kind of mental health things are hard for you when it comes to like that confidence label yeah i'm um pretty open about my mental health yeah. um i've talked a lot about going to therapy i've talked a lot about my like eating disorders that i've had and like controlling issues that i'm not issues but controlling habits that i have yeah. um and how mental health is such a like spectrum and such a like it can be up for such a long time it can be down for such a long time it's it's just like growing with it. I've yeah. been calling it a journey. Yeah. You know, because it is. Um, for me, I'm like, I have this baseline of confidence, yeah. right? Yeah. And sometimes I dip below it. Yeah. Um, I just posted a picture today, actually. I posted a, a video that was like, do you ever post something just to remind yourself when you look back at it that you were cute? Oh. <laughs> and I do that all the time where, and like, I could be feeling like, so ugly and like nobody should see me today Aww. and then i'll go on my instagram and be like well two days ago you were cute so nothing has changed in two days yeah, it's all in your own head <laughs> exactly yeah. so i talk a lot about doing stuff like that and it's like truly what i do yeah. it's not just me talking because i need to do that type of stuff you yeah. know and not every day is a good day but not every day is a bad day either yeah. and it's just facilitating through those because yeah. so many people ask me like how do you stay confident all the time like that's the problem like exactly. you no one's confident all the time right and you got to just know that that's that's 
a basis yeah. level. Yeah. No one is confident all the time. But from there, you like learn from your really low points and you take them to get to your really high points yeah. and you just balance from there. Yeah. And for, so like when it comes to like the fans that are listening to you, mm -hmm. like when they are having a down day, what yeah. do you recommend that they do to like kind of cheer them up? Yeah, I think for, it depends on like what like feeds your soul, you know? For some people it's like, going out on a walk and getting out of the house for mm. me i hate that but <gasps> finally someone i can relate to because oh. she's gonna hate this cause, <laughs> so colin's like the, a nature freak loves to go outside i fucking nature to me is like going to a hotel with no air conditioning yeah. like it doesn't happen yeah like i love you so much but she'll be like let's just sit in the grass and i'll oh. be like i'll sit down and i'll be like i can I'm feel sweating i can feel the ants yeah. crawling on my legs and i'm like i'm like kill me now kill me now <laughs> But I feel still one with nature when I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I relate to that. So, um, so, so what do you? So you don't go outside. You I no. And I've been like making myself uh -huh. honestly, just because like now being in a new job position yeah. and like not having to be in the office mm. a lot, it gets hard because like you could, I could just sit in my room all day and I could do all my emails and do all my brand deals all from my phone right. and just sit there all day and I need something more. Yeah. So recently I've been going on walks. Um, granted, they're not like totally in nature, but it's outside. Yeah. You know? Concrete, uh, concrete. Exactly. Um, I've been going on walks. I've been um, just trying to get out of the house in general. Yeah. Or if I am in the house, like doing things that are like, whatever does make me feel good. Um, that's all physical, but I think mentally like, I am one that like um, not talks down to myself, but I feel guilty a lot. Mm. Like when I'm staying at home, I'm like, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, you should be doing this. Mm. When in all reality, like maybe I do just need to chill. A break. So it's back to that, like taking that one second yeah. or, or taking that five seconds, a minute and just being like, okay, you are fine if you sit in your living room for mm. the next hour, like mm. you will be okay. Let's do that so you can be productive the rest of the day yeah. or something like that. It's just taking that time to slow down. Cause like, is the burnout like, you know, real for you? I'm sure. Like, oh yeah. 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 And that's also what's hard with right now. Cause I'm no longer a full-time producer, yeah. but I'm also working a lot. Yeah. And it's that like, in between area of like the past three years, this is all I've done yeah. and now I don't have that, but I'm doing other things, but I'm so tired. Yeah, I feel you. I'm in the same situation. Yeah. And like sometimes like there are days where you're just like, if I don't go out and do something, I'm a failure mm -hmm. or, and then you're also just like, and then like, yeah, you get like, you can be like a whole week where you're just in your own apartment. Yeah. So it's like, I think what I'm learning is um, when you are in an office space where you have all your friends at work, yeah. you're so used to all that interaction that sure. retreating is like your, your safe space. Exactly. But then when, when your safe space is your workspace, yes. you start to crave that connection again. Exactly. And so like, I always feel like sometimes when it comes like to depression or mental health, sometimes like mm -hmm. the opposite of that is just like connection. Exactly. Whether that be with yourself or outside or with nature or with However people. However you have to do that, you have to connect. do it. Yeah. Yes, no, I totally agree. Nice. It's hard. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so then also I'm curious about, so in your career so far, um, what has been some of like the hardest lessons you think you've yeah. had to learn? Cause I'm sure with, uh, with all the amazing ups, there's a lot of downs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so what have you learned? Hmm. First hardest, um, I don't know if it's like something that I directly like sat down and learned type right. of thing, sat down and was taught this, right. but um, you cannot compare your success to anybody else. Right. Um, I have this thing where all of my friends are very successful right. and I have like two main groups of friends. Um, one being people that I've met through Buzzfeed and one being people that I've met through Instagram. Yeah. And they are all just like, popping off getting deals here doing moving this in work making this 1 million viewed video in a week you know on this campaign and mm. i'm sitting there like what am i doing wrong not even like a why me yeah. but like i'm doing something wrong if i'm not doing this mm. you know and 
it's it's where like I'll even I had to even like take myself and be on Instagram and instead of like not commenting on who's ever post that's being successful I'm like immediately I will like that and I will comment on that like it's to a point where you kind of got to just take yourself out of it you know and be like that's not for me that's great for them whatever's gonna happen to me will happen because of me and it is not going to be because I'm feeling salty or jealous or anything with yeah. anybody like you your success will come in your own time support the people around you while you can yeah and like and what's crazy is like i think it's i think for, for me and for people watching probably like it's probably crazy for them to hear that coming from you right because they're probably like looking at you and like wow she's getting all the deals she's yo like, yeah yeah <laughs> and so it's like it's a, one of the things i guess you know maybe we're learning that like no matter how successful or how big yeah. you get if you're always looking for outward stuff, it's uh-huh. always going to be hard. So it's like once you find that, you have to find the uh, worth from within. Right? You really do. And it's a constant reminder because like it, you can be hot one day being like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling myself. And next day you're like, what? They did this? Yes, yeah. like they're doing so good. Like, yeah. why aren't you doing that? Why yeah. aren't you doing that? And it's like, you're not supposed to be doing that right now. Mm-hmm. If you were, you'd be doing it. Yeah. So chill figure your shit out but while you're doing that support them and what they're doing because they probably didn't think that they would be there either exactly yeah curly is such a amazing example of that Uh too i mean of course you are too but like no curly yes like he will find the most obscure artist the most like obscure like small talented like youtube channel whatever and he'll like blow them up Mm -hmm. and share it and just like such a wonderful thing because one thing is like you know sometimes we can like wrongfully assume that oh because they're just like one little brand or mm-hmm. one little um, like a person that doesn't have a lot of followers, or whatever. That they're gonna always be that way. No. But like, there's so many talented people, right? That aren't even on like social media, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like if you find someone in real life that you bond with, and they are doing great stuff, like support. Because one day, one day they're gonna be bigger or they're gonna exactly. want to work with you. Exactly. And don't don't you hate it when like it's the complete opposite? Yeah. Someone is like rude to other people. Uh huh. Um, I even if they're like bigger, smaller, whatever. I'm just like. People will remember that. There's no need for that. There's no need. And then it's just like, and you're burning the bridge Mm -hmm. and people want to work with you. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you don't know where your life will be in five years or their life. So just like, why can't we just be nice? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think that's my biggest like, uh, learning over the years is like, just do not, don't, don't focus on other people's stuff. And in that way of comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so if you do, focus on yourself to be able to do more of what you want Mm -hmm. like what are you kind of hoping for like the next few years like some people have a plan some people don't have a plan what what are you Um, hoping for i am not a planner (laughs) okay see i'm thinking everyone who doesn't have a plan seems to be happier so i think maybe that's the way to go (laughs) no i am not a planner at all just because like four years ago if you were told me i'd be in this position right Right. now i'd be like no i'm uh selling fragrances at sephora that's what i'm doing right so i don't i don't think ahead um i know i want to work in the fashion industry somewhere Hmm, i wonder why right (laughs) i know i want to do that and i know i would like to work with brands on diversity and inclusion yes um, it's I, I've done a lot of that at BuzzFeed yeah. and um, I would like to do that when looking at clothes and how clothes are being made yeah. and who are they being made for and who are they being marketed for yeah. and campaign strategies and everything like that so I'm uh, that's like my long term goals yeah. um, my few short term goals is like I want to speak at more uh, schools oh yeah you did like you like um, on Twitter or something you were yeah. like I want this I'm, I'm like, putting it into the world uh-huh, like, uh-huh. contact me and I was yes. like yes yes I want to uh, speak at more schools I want to get some type of like shoe deal Ooh. or campaign yeah I've seen those like photos where like yes! the shoe is like really close and focused yes! i'm like get it that is it um so those are my two big ones okay cool um i would like to do a clothing line sometime yeah. um or at least in the next year start talking about it more so mm-hmm. i would like uh yeah those are my three right now. i see it it's it's gonna happen <laughs> thank you um are you hoping to like are you gonna kind of keep it more just like women's or are you kind of kind of hoping for like all different genders you know what i don't know it depends on like because uh, i'm not trying to i don't want to make at least yet, right. I don't think I have the uh, bandwidth to make a clothing line myself. Right. So I would like to do a collab with a big brand. That would be, I think, the best yeah. for me. So it depends on what their demographics are. Um, 
whether I would start out in curve yeah. or do one all across, but yeah, it, it needs to be pretty open. Cause I'm, cause I'm saying I want some Jasmine J sneakers. Yes. Even if it was like marketed towards women, yeah. um, anything that I would make would be unisex. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then also when it comes to brands, cause like obviously you have a lot of experience working with all different types. Like mm -hmm. what are your like red flags to like, mm, not gonna work with these fuckers or, yeah. or what are some like good signs that they're great? Yeah, with a lot of brands, I'll look and see like, what they're posting on social media, what their campaigns look like. Mm -hmm. um, have they said anything fucked up recently? Have they tweeted anything fucked up recently? Um, in your last few campaigns, were there many different gender expressions and sexualities and uh, races and just different? Am I your token, whatever you need slot filled yeah, right now? Week, you know, yeah. like I'll check into that a lot. Mm. Um, usually if, they haven't done any of that, um, as in if they have said something fucked up recently, or even I just had a deal with a company that um, wanted me to do a Amazon Prime Day deal, oh. and because of like all the like boycott Amazon for Prime Day, I told them like I I even shot it, I had everything ready, and I was like I'm not gonna post this yeah. just because um, I'm not trying to like support something that's not good, yeah. you know. And they were like not happy, but also. But that's a good call for you, though. Yeah, and yes, it was like over four thousand dollars. But I'm like, I, I would rather not have that money and know that I'm not supporting something. Um, when all my comments anyway would be like, "Why are you supporting this?" Exactly. I'm just gonna not support it. Smart. Yeah. Um, okay, and then so like, what are your favorite brands like? Like that you do? Are they like they're killing it both yeah. in like what they're offering like style wise yeah. or content wise and then like also like with their um you know their uh diversity and yes yes um i mean i work with asos yeah so i have to say which, <laughs> not even i have to i fucking love asos which by the way before the interview i actually looked up how to pronounce it because i was like is it a sauce yeah. is it asos <laughs> like what do i say so yes ASOS, everybody but. in london says asos Everybody in the U.S. says ASOS, so whatever. If, as long as you get one of those. Got it, got it. Um, yeah, I work with them. I love them. Uh, the, this whole outfit's from there. Yeah. It's all I wear. Yeah. All I wear is ASOS. Um, they're, like, honestly my number one clothing brand. Yeah. Um, other than that, I shop a little bit at, like, Pretty Little Thing, which is okay. Um, they are opening and having a lot more diversity in their curve models, mm. which is great. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of else. I've been working a lot with Bumble lately, and they've actually had some. I worked with them at Pride in New York, yeah. and they had like a few shirts that were like super cool and out there. And some that one was like talking about like bears specifically, oh. and like yeah, kind yeah. of a little racy Love for it. a brand. Yeah. So I was really into that. Bumble the dating app? Yes. Go, yes, go dating them. and Bumble BFF. Oh like, yeah, and, the, and they have like Bumble Biz too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So honestly, like their shirts were really cute and they were really open with like diversity and like having, I don't know, different types of sexualities and preferences on yeah. there. And I was like, this is beautiful. So okay. that was really cool too. Go Bumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, they're at Pride too. So hopefully like they're showing their best foot forward there. Exactly. And they're one of the companies that, you know, cause working with companies during Pride, it's very like, Great, it's July 1st, it's we're, over. Yeah, we're rainbows right now. Um, and they're a company that I'm actually working with specifically this week as well. So, right. And I know that they continue to have different diversity amongst their um, people that they have rep their brand. So I like right. them, yeah. Nice, nice. And then like, do you hope, like, so then when you um, eventually have like, hopefully like, your own company, your own yeah. fashion line or whatever, like, how would you go about the marketing campaign? Like, what would be like, your dream, like, oh, campaign shoot, right? No, yeah, I would have so many different types of people. Mm. Honestly, just like a really dope video, I'd probably bring like Eugene in. Yeah, oh, <laughs> have him direct that? Yes, yes, have Eugene come in and just have every type of, because there are so many brands that are like, we only could do this and we could only represent this and yeah. that. And I'm like, that's a lie. It's so easy to find people it's that want to be a part of it. so easy. Yeah. Just for like, it's so easy. And yes, that comes with a whole other conversation of like using people and not paying them, yeah. everything like that. But 
Um, uh, I think what also comes with having a, like, I have grown and had a lot of friends yeah. that I know would do things for me for the bigger push of, yeah. like, we want to make changes. Yeah. And yes, right now it might not be like a thing, but next time you know I got you type of thing. Yeah. Um, so as long as you're coming off genuine and that you're not literally just using people only once to be, like, your whatever for the week, yeah. you yeah. know? Um, yeah, I think I would just have, like, a dope photo shoot. Cool. Dope. And what's, that's, that's what's so great about whether it be, like, working at BuzzFeed or even just in L.A., like, there's just so many talented people yeah. that, like, once you sign up, like, meet friends that like kind of have a little bit of the same skill set as you but also like way different you're like wow like imagine what we can do together yes like, just, yeah that's, that's why this town is so cool yeah it really is obviously we talked a lot about the things that you're really known for when it comes like fashion and mm -hmm. mental health and body positivity but is there any like kind of secret subject that like people don't know that you are obsessed with like you have a certain show you love or a certain thing that you're like super into that people are just like what jasmine would love that um, well, recently, um, I've been taking, well, not very recently, but earlier this year, me and another, um, my friend at BuzzFeed took sign language classes. Oh, cool. Yeah, and, um, cause we both took them in college and then wanted to get, like, reintroduced, yeah. yes, reacquainted with everything, um, she's actually gonna take actual classes at a university this, um, oh, cool winter or this fall and i'm like thinking about doing it um other than that though i've been thinking about like wanting to teach recently and i don't know why but i'm like um not sign language uh, specifically oh. like trends yeah um Ooh, like business trends or like more like social trends like fashion trends oh uh-huh and Damn. why like certain things are popular and do, an, do like do your own youtube channel I, online class or something i know I'm like, I've been really, like, really thinking about that a lot lately. Because, well, A, what's, what's cool is, like, they're kind of already teaching with just, like, presenting yeah. great fashion forwards. Like, right. But if they can, like, watch, like, an all class and take notes on yeah. stuff that you would do, people would be into that. I'm, I would watch that because I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my gay beachy shirt today, you guys. I love it. But I could definitely use a Jasmine J this fashion color, class. This color looks great on you. Yeah, I love it? these little pops, yeah. I try, you they're know. Great. Um, but that's awesome. Yeah. I support that. I mean, the only thing, I mean, even coming from you, you have a whole ass YouTube channel. Yeah. Like, that shit's hard. It is. It's a lot of work to, it's because, like, yeah, you're producing everything and then you have to like, keep managing it. So it's a lot of work, but if, if you have a good idea, which, like, I love this idea, and if you end mm -hmm. up doing your fashion classes, oh my God, like, that's like such a great idea. Like, you think of a, like a, a cute name, mm -hmm. it'll sell itself, you know? Um, but so, like, it takes work, but if you have the money, and time to invest in it and then you make it like your priority that's when it can really take off so i yeah. if, if you have the time yeah that's why i'm like i'm i've thought about it and i have like maybe three thousand subscribers just sitting on a channel right. um with one video of me twerking <laughs> <laughs> which Amazing. is my mood honestly um but yeah i want to it's like i want to do it but i think especially with just coming from buzzfeed and having like those standards of you need to do this you need to do that you need to do this i'm kind of like i don't want to start this again and give like commitments yes you know that's yeah. the hard part is like keeping up with shit for sure and i feel like it's it's very similar to like you know once you've gotten like a big following yeah you can make it more like separate and like oh i'll put out a video here and there but i feel like when you're at the beginning you have to Consistent. constantly put out yeah. i mean that's what they say that's what everyone says consistency is how you grow yeah. and i feel like i'd be like here's a video next year yeah <laughs> yeah when you get it you get it you get it sorry yeah. guys yeah well then you know what just keep doing you i think i think what's great is things will kind of fall into place and when you do want them you have like the connection with people in town that yeah. will want to help you yeah you know that everyone wants to be a part of a jasmine J project <gasps> Let's hope. <laughs> yeah. um, so you keep eating. I will. Because I've been eating more than you. <laughs> but um, while you're doing that, basically, uh, this is the Dinner Views guest book. Mm -hmm. Okay? And everyone who's come, they've signed their name, and they've asked a question for the next guest. Okay. Who was the last guest? So the last guest who was here, um, she was here yesterday, was Sky Cohen. Do you remember her at all? Yeah. Yes. Um, she was like did like a whole minimalist video with BuzzFeed and oh, she has, yeah. like, she has um, her sky life and she's very healthy and very um, into like spirituality and fitness mm -hmm. and, and so she says, 
Jazz, you are such a spectacular role model to so many women and girls. Um, so I'm wondering, who was your first female role model in your life who inspired oh, you? Beautiful. Yeah. Mm, okay, first and foremost, my mom. Mm. Duh. Yeah. Um, my mom and, I mean, I'm going to give, like, in large part with her, my parents in general, my mom and my dad, just um, have just been so good with like we grew up we grew up in a very like small town yeah. um didn't look like anybody around us and from when i was a literal child i remember my parents just telling me like okay people are gonna see you different yeah. you're not different and if you are it's not a bad thing right. type of thing it's your power exactly and second of all my parents have taught me like from the get-go like you are a leader and you are not gonna follow anybody like I remember them telling me that in kindergarten. Whoa. Like this person did that, the per this person did that, you don't do that. You are the leader, you're going to lead. And so a, a, a lot of pressure. Yeah. But um, you know, I think it was a very good um, way to raise me, especially in this very small town where there's not a lot of expectations in yeah. general. Yeah. Um, other than that, I always say like, when looking at like public figures, yeah. I always say that um, Oprah's my mom. Oprah raised me, and uh -huh. Tyra Banks is my sister. Oh. So like I would watch Oprah when I was oh second, third grade, yeah. like trying to drink coffee. Like my mom and my grandma were um, loved Oprah. I feel like she taught me everything, yeah. and just I don't know. She's so strong and so bold but still like says her little slide number but then like really hits you hard i i love her yeah. and then later on in my life tyra banks was like my like my gosh like she's beautiful she's like helping other people be models yeah. she's you know yeah. like going off like those are the two that i like love so then like you've met some of you've met um, i've met tyra, tyra yeah. yeah and then you also you have that the show that you did with buzzfeed where you were like the host of yes. like, a, a competition mm -hmm. show so like that's crazy you're kind of like reliving your life through like your icon. yeah yeah meeting tyra was it was like i was sitting down with like hey we, we were friends in college yeah. like this is crazy like she's so sweet uh. and just so like um relatable yeah. and yeah everything was great so uh -huh. yeah have you ever um like met certain icons who were like kind of like weren't as great in person or have you been lucky enough to have them i've again? met some people that would <laughs> be like wow they're terrible and i've never had a bad experience and i don't know if that's like they were having a good day mm. i don't know if it's my energy mm. like um, <clears throat> me and Lindsay once shot with Mariah Carey, <gasps> and yes, and like obviously she came two hours late. Yeah, like we were sitting there. Two but hours you respect late. that with her. Exactly. I mean, she she owns her own world. Exactly, right? yeah. and she like looked me straight in the eyes and she was like, "Do I look okay? Do you think I look all right?" And I was like, "Bitch, what? Like, like we all want to look like you, right?" Yeah, yeah. I was like, "It was it was crazy." So Aww. like she's been sweet. Um. I've met Amber Rose. She was great. I sat down and talked to her. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I've met. I think those are like the biggest names of yeah. people. Um, amazing. So thank you for answering that question. And yes. when um, we all are done, you'll like you'll write a question write for our one. next guest. Kind of when we get to the end of the interview, one thing that I always kind of like ask people is I say, if there was like a seven-year-old Jazz here, mm. what would she think of this dinner? And oh. yeah, and what would you tell her, your younger self? Oh, first of all, she would love this dinner. Perfect. Like I've been loving breakfast for literally forever. Yeah. So she would be so happy. And there was, everything on here was, I love it because it was all like homemade, just goodness. Huh. Some people decide to go really weird for breakfast stuff. And I was like, I wonder which way you're gonna go. Right. Because you're experienced in food. So like you could either have stuck to something like this or yeah. done something like totally different. Yeah. And I like just like a good fucking homemade meal. Yeah. Like this was great. Yay. Um, so she would love it. Um, uh, uh, something that I think I would tell my younger self I think I needed to hear that your surroundings are not the only thing, literally the only thing. Yeah. Um, I think when I was growing up, I was like, 
I I want to look like these girls. Mm. Um, I want to look like the people around me. Like I need to fit in with these people around me. And I did not understand that there is so much more yeah. to this world. And luckily with social media now, you yeah. can at least see that. Yeah. Like granted, you might be in a little small Midwestern town, but if it was now, I could at least see maybe on Instagram that there was like some half black bald bitch yeah. like rocking her fucking life yeah, you yeah. know you're like i can finally relate to someone exactly yeah. um um but yeah i think i just needed to know that there was more to me and what i was capable to do other than just my small town yeah. so i definitely give that advice to anybody out there too like yeah. you are bigger than where you're from yeah and then also for your younger self like if you had to give her some fashion advice. This is, I, I, don't, I don't usually spring this on anyone else, but if you had to give her any kind of fashion tips, what would you give your younger self? Um, I think I would tell her that one, she could wear whatever the fuck she wants, um, whenever she wants. Um, two, that I don't, I don't regret anything that I've worn just because I know at the time I had to love it. Yeah. Um, I look back at it and I'm like, Wow. <laughs> that was that was a choice. That was a choice. Yeah. Um, in high school, though, I was voted most likely to start a fashion trend. So I've been pretty consistent with just rocking whatever the fuck I wanted. Good. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think also the other thing is, like, don't stress over, like, name brands not carrying your size. Right. It's oh. so tired. It's yeah. so tired. You'll find, you'll find brands out there that do. Yeah. Okay. Well, this has been really lovely. Yay. What's nice is, like... We always can never finish the food while we're still filming, so we always cut and then we'll like eat more food. Bless, afterwards. I've literally been staring yeah. at this hash brown like when. <laughs> Guys, listen, I'm trying to like make it where it's like we can eat it and enjoy it, but also not have like a three hour long recording for <laughs> Conversation. footage. Conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching and spending this like last hour with us. Yes. Um, Jazz is incredible. You can find Thank her on. You. Oh, you can find her at it's Jasmine J. Jasmine J. And also um, ASOS underscore Jasmine. Yep. Oh, nailing you it. You got it. Um, and guys, you know her. Like, she's always doing amazing things on Instagram, but she'll probably do many more things in the future. But give her some time to figure it out. <laughs> right? I appreciate you. Like, give, let her be her creative self. <laughs> give her a mental health break. But eventually, she'll be out here. Uh, and, you know it. And um, so thanks for listening. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Yay. Whee. Amazing job. Thank you so much. This was so fun.